G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where we are back to take on our big build. We are back to continue our construction of our kick-ass volcano base. It's not much up there at the moment, but right up there on that tippy buddy tip of that giant mountain, which is actually a volcano, that is where I'm building my new digs. As lovely as my base here is at the moment, all lit up and lovely and well protected, this is just serving as my base of um construction to make myself all the materials i need and kill any muppets who want to try and stop me from doing that so i could just murder you clowns while i'm explaining the intro but i've been a little bit busy overnight i've been doing some hard applesauce work now i've got some things in order which i'm actually pretty happy about no, we're okay. I thought I heard footsteps. It's just my chemistry station. There is some more polymers. There is the sunrise. I'll grab you and you and get my... What was it? Electrical parts and lead, which should be in here as well. There it is. Grab you and churn out a bunch more of that. Already got six more, uh, 600 more coal batteries as well. Because even though I'm here to build stuff, I still need to murder the occasional zombie. Oh, boy. Woo! All right, well, speaking of murdering the occasional zombie, there is a, um... <laughs> there's a couple of them just trundling past. Oh, that's a big cluster. Oh, they're beating on that house over there. I thought I'd beating through her walls. I haven't come close enough for my turrets to get engaged just yet. I'm going to slink back on inside and see if I can go and grab my rocket launcher because if you guys are all going to be grouping up like that, I can't really resist their temptation all that well. I'm pretty sure my defenses, my defenses still work. Okay, lovely. That's a nice little just uh, loud clash of reassurance. Make sure I am actually well protected. They're getting sliced up too. All right, this is why I wanted to get out there and do my repairs while things were still good. Because if I wait too long, then I don't really have that option anymore. I will take you. I will take you. And my frame rate is ass. Hop over to them. Up to the top. Because look at that. How could I turn down, firing a couple of rocket rags over into that little mess of zombies? Boom. Cop that one. Send them all flying. Cop that one as well. Oh, listen. This is supposed to be a one-way road. You can't be coming over here and exploding all over me as well. This is supposed to be a construction business, not a zombie horde finding business. This horde is just a little bit ridiculous. We're getting... Oh, that was an ambitious shot. We've almost paid off. I'm getting a little bit reckless with it. Just because I can't... Oh, God. That's a bad... I was very, very close and almost ate my own rocket. You to the cop one as well. The rockets are just going through a couple of these clowns. This is, um, this is a lot of zombies. There's not like any of like the rads or like the demons and stuff, but this is still a real big wave of zombies for me to try and take on. This is a lot. That is a screamer over there. Or could we just put you down? Because the last thing I need right now, oh my God. It's still going? How, how many zombies is too many zombies at this point? Is there a screamer in there? Please don't tell me there's also screamer hordes coming in. Because that would be just a little bit too much. That would be a little bit too excessive. I need just to calm your goddamn farm. Something has been broken there, but I don't know what it was. Maybe even like one of the electric fences or something like that. They're still coming. They're still churning. You just got to relax. Ow. You really got to relax. No, no. No, no, no. Don't want to break out my spotlight either. Don't have my wood on me. I might have to get away from it then. This is this is a lot. I might um I might need just to slow your roll here. Seven days. You're getting a little bit overwhelming. I'm not even especially sure what I'm aiming for anymore. I just see like clusters of zombies, and I'm trying to put rockets down onto it. There's still something must have happened. Something must be screwed with like the coding or something because this is just infinite zombies at this point. This may just be infinite zombie horde. They're still spawning. They're still coming. What am I supposed to do with this? I'm firing rockets left, right, and center. And I can't stem the flow at all like my freaking tap is broken. No. Go out of here, you vomiting vulture fuck. You're just going to leave me alone. I'm supposed to be building shit today, not destroying hordes. All right, this isn't funny anymore. This isn't bloody funny anymore. They're actually starting to break through my bloody wall. So, cop that one. Some of the blocks are starting to get broken down. Um... <laughs> What is happening here? And why is there all the zombies in the world? I'm now starting to understand that at some point recently there may have been a zombie apocalypse. Because they've all shut up my bloody front door. Piss off. 
I actually ran out of ammo. That's how much ammo I've expended just fighting this freaking horde. Like all my 762s with me. But while I'm here, oh god, my frame rate, please. Give me some concrete, some wood, some steel as well. I'm going to do some repairs when I get back down there. Oh, it's so soupy. It's so soupy and so bad. All right, yeah, the turret's still doing a good job. Arlene, I need you to piss off, please. Look at the loot bags out there as well. This is like, how many wandering hordes just showed up at once? Was there screamer hordes involved in here as well? Because it's bloody ridiculous if it was. How am I supposed to deal with this? There's a bloody, a spider in there somewhere that I can't do anything about because the turrets aren't gonna bloody shoot him. Cop that. This is ridiculous. This is bloody ridiculous. You're always gonna leave me alone. Holy God, look at all the bodies out there. Just look at the carnage that has happened here. I think this is the last of the group, the slow movers as they're bringing up the rear of everything. Probably even just go with the lightsaber and just slice and dice them a bit so I can save myself whatever ammo I have left and how much I dispense. Try to defend my life. I can't believe how insane that was. That was, that was a bigger horde. That must have been like a double horde or something because that's way bigger than I fought ever before. That was like almost infinite. That was ridiculous. Um, but anyway, now I have all the loot bags in the world I have to deal with. Um, I guess in the meantime, though, I might just have to quickly go and repair you guys. Make sure that nothing else is going to break through my bloody walls anytime soon. That got pretty close to getting pretty dicey there. That wasn't good at all. Still a couple of stragglers just making their way slowly towards me. Just look how far back the bodies go out of here. There's still loot bags to be gotten all the way out this side. This is absolutely insane. That was ridiculous. I don't have the words to properly describe how ridiculous that was. Because look, even all the way out here, this is where I was firing all the rockets and stuff. This is where that was spawning. I was firing rockets at the spawn point. Like it's freaking Modern Warfare 2 with the bloody hatchets all over again. I'm not even sure if I can go through and loot all these loot bags. It'll just take too long. It's only 9 o'clock in the morning. I spent thousands of rounds of ammo both through my M4 and my core rifle. I'm out of core rifle ammo. Had like a hundred and something left over. I'm out of that too. This is bloody insane. Look at this. This like world is there like a crater. Give me my rebar frames. I'll take some extra cement as well. Uh, anything else that's super important? I've got most of the ammo on me, and given how bad that was, I might just keep it on me for the moment. If I do have any repair kits around somewhere, I will need some, if I have some. I thought I definitely did, but I guess I don't. It's just repair my rocket launcher. My rocket launcher's definitely seen some better days. Do I have a spare one? I do. Let's grab you, and I'll really quickly just pull the mods out of you just to try to repair you as best I can, like that, and stick you into this one. Oh, man. My heart rate is like pounding through my ribcage right now because that was that was a real bad time. I didn't enjoy that at all. Go back to here. Are you shitting me? There's another one? Um. What the shit just broke? Okay, there's errors throwing. It's definitely spawning a wandering horde. No, pl stop on errors, please. I don't want to have to fight another horde. If you guys could just pass on by and go and eat trailer wreck, that would be A-OK -okay with me. Just leave me alone. It's fine. Cruise on past. No need to worry. I fought the first infinite horde for so long that the next horde bloody showed up. What are you guys doing? That's a behemoth. That's why. There's a behemoth and a football player punch it on and a cop as well to act as a referee, I suppose. Um, I think the worst of it has kind of passed me by. You're barely even getting tickled by the bloody blade traps. I really need to cop around in the dick, apparently. If I could just get, like, the main part of the horde to leave me alone, I can fight the stragglers. That, um, apparently my turret's out of, out of ammo as well, otherwise this wouldn't be so much of an issue. This is not good. I don't like this. There's just a lot for me to deal with out there right now. I'm not even sure if I have the ammo. I've only got like 21 rounds left of my coal stop, which is my like, my big dog gun. It's the one that I really need to use for anything big and scary like that. Oh, can I go? Oh, if I fire the rocket launch, they all come over and pick a fight with me though, but they are kind of grouped up. So that was a risky move firing in between the slats of my house, but risky times, risky moves, and hopefully some rewards. 
Don't have any ammo left for you. Just saw you. I'm supposed to be building my house today. I'm supposed to be up on top of a mountain building cool buildings, but instead I'm fighting ravenous hordes. That's kind of the price I paid for, like, oh, damn it, for staying inside the, um, anywhere, anytime world. Apparently, I still have to fight those challenges, too. This may seem silly, but the behemoth actually seems to be on my team, which is kind of nice. I need you to leave my base alone, please. You're bringing all your friends over. Arlene has called in the hordes. Nope. No, nope, you were supposed to be on my team, behemoth. I was just chatting you up. I was just talking about you and singing your praises, but no. Apparently, you didn't like the compliments. All right, fair enough then. I was just kind of watching the barroom brawl from up on high. Oh god, yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to clear these guys out. There's a whole bunch more just down the road. But that's gonna be a later me problem. This whole day is gonna be me defending my not even real base. I was supposed to go off to the other base. Fuck no! Ah, you did. I definitely fucked up my drawbridge quite considerably. Huh? Yeah, this is the whole thing. Listen, I just can't deal with how much just drama is outside my door right now. You're finally done with all the concrete. That's perfect timing, so I'll take all of you. Take that one. Take that one. Try and get some more core rifle ammo on the go. Give me all of you, please. That one as well. And whatever's left in you. Nice. Give me all of that. 762 core rounds are 4,000 of those. Yes, bloody please. My bullet tips are the thing that's limiting me now. Huh, I just need, I just need a breath. I just need a breath of fresh air, so I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to get out of here and get back up on top of the mountain where if a horde does show up, maybe the mountain will stop them. But as it stands at the moment, I'm not in a particularly great place anyway. Um, yeah, look, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just get the shit out of town. The zombies have overwhelmed me. I just want to leave. I don't feel safe in my own freaking house anymore. Let alone safe enough to go and try and get all those loot bags. They're just going to have to wait for another day. <laughs> the horde has absolutely ravaged Trader Rex compound. If only you had some decent guards there, buddy boy. If only you had someone actually protecting you, rather than just sitting around staring at the sky and watching you getting torn limb from limb. Maybe you would have survived a little bit longer. That's not my problem. I don't care. My only priority now is to get back up on top of the mountain. The sooner I get my, um, my volcano base up and working, like, I wouldn't have to deal. If that gigantic infinite horde showed up once I have the proper base built on top of the mountain, then I won't have to worry about that nonsense anymore because they can all get banished to the middle of the planet and not have to cause me any issues. Can I grab, because this is ridiculous to ride on, can I grab you, take that, and then pick you up? I'm just going to head up that ravine back up to my house. That's fine. I don't even know what's going to happen. If I send zombies to the center of the world under the mountain, will they, like... I don't know, build themselves a cavern down there to live in? I don't even bloody know. I might collapse the world, but at this point, I don't care. Here we are then, soon to be home sweet home. It is a shame to have to destroy all of this because I really don't want to. I like that, I like how it feels already. I like the view that it's got and I don't want to have to remove that at all. I suppose I don't actually have to, but that is the maximum height that I've got to play with. It's been confirmed that I can't change the build height limit in seven days at all. It's set to like 255. It's set to a bit and you can't fuck around with that. Is there a way I can make it work without destroying it? I suppose I'll put some like arches on it or something. I suppose I can make like some rafters with it, I guess, over the top. But this is as high as it's ever going to be. I can only build like a single room up here. I can't build a second story. And even if I dropped it a little bit, I would still only have that single room. So maybe... No, I, I, I still think dropping it that one block is going to be worthwhile. It's going to cost me a lot in both resources and time. But I think it's going to be worthwhile in the end. So break all the blocks that support everything and watch it all come crashing down. It's a sad thing to have to do, but I think it's necessary. Oh, there we go. Didn't mean to do it right then, but apparently we're going. Get the hell out of there before you get crushed beneath your own rubble. Woo! All right, that was uh, unexpected. I was just building myself a little path to get back underneath the platform and it all came toppling down. Get rid of all of you. The rubble has kind of been strewn far and wide, much further and wider than I was hoping it would be. Look at that though. And now, I mean, some of it's wood. I suppose I can just go through with the ax, I suppose, and do that a little bit more efficiently. But it is clear all this up. I should have a nice flat platform to build it all once again. It's a shame I couldn't just, like, I don't know, attach some ropes and lower it that one block, but that's a little bit too advanced for seven days. Seven days can barely handle water without making it molasses. I shouldn't ask it to do complicated physics. All that's left now is just to get rid of this little 
last little tabletop of wood in the middle. This was like the last bit that was holding everything up, but as soon as I broke that one wood block, like all the physics we calculated, and it all came crashing down. Probably yeah. rightly so as well. We'll go power strokes just to get rid of all of you. Having like the stamina regen just to constantly power attack is really bloody nice. But good. There we go. All right, we're down an extra level, so we've got a little bit more room to maneuver. Still not much, but something at the very least. I'm kind of thinking though, if this is like the main room of it all, I can build like, I can build the horde base over that side over there. As long as I get the zombie pile thing working, so they have to come up and see me. I could just drop them down here. I don't even need to try and get over to like the bigger one over here or whatever I plan on doing. As long as their easiest pathing, oh, there's another one here actually, is to get through whatever I decide, like the way I want them to, to come through. If I can predict their pathing, I can predict their downfall. Almost literally, because that's a long bloody way down. Alrighty then, with that all done, I can now get set about remaking all that we have lost. That nice reinforced concrete outer shell will be good. Huh. <sighs> I feel like I just did this. I feel like I was here only a matter of minutes ago. Do I go another one down then? Do I recess this into the floor? Do I go another level below what I already have? Hmm, that is the question. If I want to do it, I should do it now rather than breaking everything down later on. So what I've done for the moment is going to give me the floor, a three block cavity, and then a, a thick single block roof as well. I can't get onto the roof, but I can't put anything interesting up there because it's beyond the build limits. Um... How does it look? How does it look at the moment? The view is the most important part. The Dolomites are kind of getting in the way and there's still a bunch of this random nonsense out here as well that I might need to quickly dispose of. That's made out of stone. We'll go with the pickaxe instead. So, if that's all going to get in the way, I mean, I could get rid of them, I suppose. I don't know, but I like them. I like retaining some of the natural features from what was here before I came and destroyed half the mountain. So if I'm sitting one block up from here, and that's going to be the view out the window. Now nah, I kind of like them. I, you know what? We, we'll be good. We'll be good. We're sticking with this. Stop second guessing yourself, Josh. Just stick it and try and make it work. Because I've gone down an extra block, I've actually got this extra little itty bit of space over here. And it's kind of got me thinking. Because at the moment, right, like everything's kind of everywhere. But I do have, next to these dolomites out here, I could turn like this into like a clifftop path. Around to like here. Because if Jen's going to come over, we need somewhere nice to walk around and hold hands and sip frothies and coffees. So if I go, that's uh, rubble. If I go and make like a doorway down here, down along the side of that. And then kind of terraform this bit out here inside these little mounds of turrets here into a nice pathway. That might be kind of nice actually. Don't know how it's going to go with the zombies, but I guess we'll have to figure that out a later time. Can I get back up into here, please? That'll work, actually. That'll look really bloody sick. Because because it's only one wide, the doorway, the door frame even will sit in there really nicely. I might even go like that, because then that can be the start of the, the ramp down from there. So it's still kind of like enclosed at the top. That might look a little bit better. In fact, I'm so confident about it. Uh, XP gogs back on, please. Let's just go through and upgrade all of you into concrete. Once it's set in stone, I mean, concrete has got a liquid stone, I suppose, then I can't go back on it. But that's how confident I'm feeling that this is going to be sick. Putting the last of the flooring in just like that. It's taken me a lot of wood to do. I feel like I definitely think lowering that platform, that just that one block was a good decision because it's meant that I can come back and revisit some ideas. Like, look at the... Look at the square footage there. Look at the floor space that I have. And I think it's just because I have this extra little sliver over here, which does two things. It gives me more room to maneuver, but also gives it more personality because now I can go in, I can make that into my solid wall that has the stairs going down to the balcony down there. But I can also make it so that this, this bit out here, that can be like the bedroom kind of part. That can be like the the more personal space, and that area can be like the workshop, the more productive area. So how's it actually look? What is it? One, two, three, four, which actually works perfectly because beds are too wide. So I can put like my bed up against that. That can all be a solid wall along there to keep it nice and secure. When I have a nice solid wall behind your bed head, 
I assume just for looks. I don't think there's any physical reason for that. Going from my personal knowledge, I can't imagine the bed head would uh, need something sturdy behind it. I mean, what are you doing in there? Jumping on the bed like a couple of monkeys? Anyway, um, I'm going to put you up to there. Go the three height. And it was four height that I needed. That's the whole reason I did the whole thing in the first place. Like that. Yeah, nah, nice. That's going to look sick when it's done. I don't actually know if I can. I'm going to try... Can I get wood center plates and can I upgrade you to be concrete? Because I just want a bit of personality on the back wall over here. It's kind of like a feature wall. Like, yes, there's the windows for the view, but having the wall behind your bed look kind of nice might be a good idea too. We'll get some cobble going. Reinforced wood. Cobblestone. Concrete. I can. All right, that's going to be sick then. I'll continue you along like that. We'll go too high because the fourth block at the top is going to be the full-blown reinforced concrete and match everything else around there. All the way around like that. And I can just go through, holding down the right click of my super duper multi-tool and upgrade all this nice and quickly. All the way up to concrete a lot across the board. I will need some more cobble, but that's not too much of an ask. Oh, that's going to look sick when it's done. I really like that. I really like how it's coming together. And it's barely even a footprint at the moment. I know it doesn't really look like much now, but having that recessed portion there, as well as on the outside, actually suits the building really well. So I'll keep it in mind for any other solid walls that I make. I'm going to put a window in here because that looks kind of interesting out that way. But is this really the wall behind the bed that wanted to be solid and admire all of that view? Probably put a solid wall in here as well. I don't know. I'll kind of work with it as I go. Just kind of wing it as it comes up. Like a goddamn chicken. Um, so, you go like that and like that. Continue on like there. Purely so. So, here's the thing, right? I think it's in here. I'll get you real fast and I'll turn you into steps. In fact, I need the railing. I need the railing on the right. So, that one. Yeah? I said railing left, but it's my right. How does it... What way's up and down for the stairs? I don't know. I don't care. Whatever. That's the side I need it to be. So there and there. All the way down, I think, to about there. Might have to build up some of the terrain down here to kind of match because this bit here is the level that I want it to be at. Oh, this is so much like... There's so many thoughts in my head and I'm barely used to having one of them. But trying to keep track of them all and kind of like plan them out ahead of time is a bit iffy. But I think that's about the right level. Maybe I'll just like quickly dig it out so I know it all is the right level. All the way around, around like this. Don't tunnel underneath the building though. Keep on going. It's going to be a bit of effort, but it should hopefully work out okay. All right, so that's the right height all the way around. It crossed out a little bit, but that's right. It's still the right one. So I need to go there and there, which matches up perfectly with the width of the cliff. I love it when things accidentally work out perfectly. That's so bloody good. So I can complete all of you. This side as well. All the way down to them. So this is where the door's going to be. So you need to be... Let's go like... Actually, just to really complete this, let's go like the wedge tip. And we'll sit you on face out the front like that. And I'll get that one there and stick you there. So from the outside, it has like a nice kind of smooth line coming in. Uh, and the door will sit on that front side there. Let's just quickly make ourselves a cheeky door just so we can see it. The sun is setting, I know, but I'm getting my juices flowing too much to stop now. Uh, door. Where the door goes? Is it still being made? No, I've just lost it somewhere. There it is. Taking the spot where my ammo should be. So you go like that. You open that way. You cruise on down there. Yeah, that's awesome. That's great. I like how that's going together really bloody well. Probably shouldn't have gone all the way up because I wanted to make myself a nicer door to go there, like a proper house door. But that's okay. This gives us the idea of how it's going to look, and it looks bloody sick. So this gap along here is actually 10 blocks wide, but that gap there is 8. That gap there is 8. And there's a lot of, like, 8s going around the place. So I think what I'll do, because I do need an entryway into my house. If I make that... Well, how... Yeah, you can't make double doors in seven days yet. Apparently, it's a thing in Alpha 20 that's coming out. Like, proper, like, double doors that open like this rather than going, like, that. Like, that kind of thing. Like, do this one like a door would. You know how doors work. I don't think it's explained to you with weird hand movements. So, double doors aren't really an option. But, you do have that nice, like, triple door thing, right? What do you got? I got, yeah, like, the garage doors. Those, those open properly. That's, like, the closest you get to a proper double door. 
Um, because none of the others are really getting me excited. So I think that's what I'll go for. I suppose it's not really tickling me though. It's not make, really making me excited. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure to be perfectly honest. So if I, okay, so if it's 10 wide, so nine, eight, so I put one there. That means that gap is only seven. So really I should be putting it there to get everything nice and symmetrical. But I hate the look of that. Oh, it's 9.30. The sun is setting and I'm running out of what, ideas of what I'm supposed to be doing. How do I make this work for me? Or just like put things in the middle and just say, hang it, it'll work. I think it's actually pretty fair to assume that this is going to be another solid wall. Because what I'm looking at it that way, there's nothing out there. It's atrocious. I mean, I could see zombies coming, I suppose. I don't even know if zombies can spawn up here or if they like will spawn, like if a horde shows up, they spawn at the bottom of the mountain and just tunnel their way in. I, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to go, but I guess we'll find out sooner rather than later. So instead, I'm going to go through like this. And just make the call now that that is going to be another wall, just like that one over there. We'll keep you like there, actually. We'll go here. We'll get our censored plates again and stick you along like that. Everything's nice and supportive and happy. Just a little bit of personality rather than just like sheer clean walls. Just a little bit of how you're going. Nighttime has fallen. The sun is dipping below the horizon out there. And I'm just kind of looking at this. I'm trying to plan how my entryway is going to be. And I want to try and take advantage of this little death drop here. So maybe even getting like a couple of doors, putting them flat on the ground, like uh, like vault doors maybe. And having it so... Oh, I could actually. I could just go with like the garage doors like I'm doing over there. Go to the garage doors or have them flat so they either like drop away, I suppose. Because I could have it like this. And have a walkway going from there around and then through here. Um, so that if they do make it past, I guess like this pit here where my horde base might be, I suppose, when I figure out where I'm going to put it. If they do make it through, I can have like a secondary desperation drop. No, everything has gone wrong. Shit has hit the fan. I can't have them making it out to my little house out there. Because that's where Jen is going to be nice and safe. So like having like trap doors in the floor to drop away and send them down to their death. That could be fun. That could be something to do. I want to take advantage of as many of these pitfalls as I possibly can. Because I'm used to falling for my own pitfalls. It's about time someone else did. I think in the interest of having this nice and symmetrical and having like the design patterns work across most of the building, as well as because this is going to be the work area, I want that part of the house, this part here, to have sheer views of the entire town down here. This is where I'm going to be spending most of my time entertaining Jen and... I don't know, sipping scotch and pretending like the world hasn't ended. So, oh, g'day, bud. How you doing out there? Just hanging out? Good to see you. Thank you for coming and checking out my new house. Uh, it's not ready yet, though. You can't just come break into the construction site and like nothing's going on. What'd you bring me? A housewing present? A couple of polymers. I appreciate that. So I think what I'll do here is I'll just go through and put another line down the bottom like this. Purely because it'll mean that it matches up with that bit there. That bit there. Oh, there's another bit that needs to be upgraded as well. So that's all reinforced concrete soon. So that, yeah, in like the productive side, the part that isn't like just the flat out view part, you have like the nice framing on the windows. So that should all work pretty well. I really like this bit though. I like the extra little bit of touches that goes on along there. Well, upgrade all of you along. That'll be good. Yeah, nice. This is coming together really well. I think a little lesson in trickery... This will go down in history. Oh, I don't know if it's going to work. Do I have iron on me, actually? Do I have any? I've got three, so not really much at all. So I can't make any window frames. So because the window frames take up two blocks, right? I can't... Oh. So what I wanted to do is I want to put the, like this uh, plate up the top to really open up the entertaining area even more than it already is. But I want to put windows down the side. So I'll see if I do it like that and then put like an L-shaped bracket underneath it. It'll mean that it looks like it has the whole window frame there despite the annoyingness of having to uh, take up the whole block even though it's only kind of small. But I think I would have to put the, the plate on the bottom, which I don't think I can do because we're on the top of the world. I'm limited again by the lack of buildable area. Not like there, actually. Go here. If I get all the way up on top, I can't put anything up here, can I? 
No, I can't. Even though you're only an extra inch, apparently an inch is a big deal, which makes me feel considerably better. Dang. I reckon I can get it to work. It just may not look as clean and crisp as I want it to. I don't know. I don't know. Because yeah, the problem is if I stick it up the top like that, then I can't put a window frame that will match that underneath it. And it's just going to look a little bit skewy. Dang. You know what? I think it's just going to have to wait for tomorrow, I guess. I need to go back and get myself some iron as well to make the window frames, plus the glass panels and things. But it is starting to take shape a little bit. It's not massive. It's not as big as I would have liked it to be. Like, I really want to have, like, a triple story keep on, like, the boulder out here and then have the horde base back behind me. But I'm dealing with whatever I can given my lack of buildable area. So I'll grab you and I'll quickly just throw myself off this cliff in despair like I'm freaking Juliet. This might hurt, but I don't care. It was worth it. It was worth it just for the coolness of that shot. Oh, didn't even hurt myself by bonking my back wheel down first either. Look at that, doing 360s and shit. The dolphin splashing, getting everybody all wet. Hey, you doing, love? Yeah, that nice. If I could, like, clear just that little bit of extra, because there's that nice steep run down there, a little bit of extra flight off the top, and I'd land that smooth as silk. I'm heading home, but I'm giving the trader a wide berth, because last I was there, there were a lot of zombies outside his house, and I kind of don't want to pick a fight any more than I already have today. I need to set up, I need to go through and pick up all those loot bags. If I want a gyrocopter, grabbing all the loot bags I can possibly find is probably a pretty good idea. You gotta let me in, please? No? Alright, well that's bloody rude then. I see some loot bags down the road actually. Maybe they, oh there's a lot of bodies as well. Maybe they timed out, maybe they died? I'm not sure, but I need to get back inside my house and turn the power back on. I don't think the solar is working out for me. I might need to go back to burning dinosaurs just to get my base to keep working. Hey, we're looking. How's the power going? How are you going for me? You're completely knackered. All right, well, you still have plenty of life in you. So instead, I'll wire up to that one and I'll quickly turn on the old Jenny boy. The, um... Oh, you're going both ways. Your power you can power both of them? Huh, I didn't realize you could do that. Why, of course you could do that. It's the bloody, it's the power source. You can run multiple outs of a power source. I just didn't realize you, I, it didn't like actually make sense in my head. All right, then, fair enough, then. You're going to get recharged. You're burning dinosaurs with plenty of fuel. Nice, that should mean that I can now go and get my motorcycle and bring it back in. Oh, I'm going to have to spend the night going through and picking up all the loot bags from outside because there's so bloody... Ooh, a treasure map. All right, don't mind if I do. There's so bloody many uh, loot bags out there for me to get that might have gyro parts in them that I would be remiss if I didn't give it a red hot crack. You, though, you can have the gas. You can have the concrete because I'm going to need you later. You can have a little bit of clay, a little bit of iron, uh, a little bit of ammo as well so I don't get distracted later on. Because I'm going to go put most of this stuff back away and hopefully things will be okay in the morning. Quickly jump in the kitchen and push my face into a couple of meaty bits of jerky. I hope it's thick jerky with like 18 C's so that it really satisfies me in all the right ways. A uh, couple of bits more. I made that one massive stack of jerky like a month ago and it's been lasting me ever since because I freaking love jerky. It's a shame it's so expensive. Nice, okay, I'm back to looking all bloody happy. So I'm going to leave this episode here, I'm sitting in front of my lovely fire, pretending that the whole world isn't ending around me. And I will come back and continue to build my volcano base. It's going okay. We're having some hiccups, but we're getting there. That's why I wanted to do it in survival, though. Yes, I could have done anything creative in one day, but that's no fun. I want the challenge of having to build this thing properly. I have a head start with the base, but it's also a bit of a hindrance with all the zombies that keep showing up because my game stage is pretty high. But I'm going to go out overnight, get all those loot bags and sort through it all and stash it all away and see what I can find. And fingers crossed, get myself some gyro parts. But I'll have to come back and continue my volcano base build in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.